moving deeper in the Fort Dracon, we're gonna go kill ourselves an Archdemon. Because, you know, that's what we do. Time to fight the Archdemon. Kill it! Kill it now! Let's get the mages in on this shit, because you know. They're gonna lose if we don't get any help on this. Finally, after all this time, we've made our way to the Archdemon. This son of a bitch is gonna be. Well, it's gonna put up the big spot. Now, we, we damaged its wing, so its wings were damaged. So now we're, uh... I am in danger! Do something! Uh. I am in danger! Do something! Get this ballista turned around. Maybe we can do something awesome. Ho ho! How do you like that shit? Uh. Damn it, Morgan. Liliana's down already. That sucks. Stop killing! Oh, he's fucking the mage up. She Dragon's like are supposed to be all Dragon Age series. Oh, they're bringing in a bunch of folks. And all the other guys that fucked him in to help. <laughs> I'm gonna get my ass kicked by hanging around here without any help.
And then it was over. With the Archdemon dead, the Darkspawn Horde quickly crumbled. Most fled back into the deep roads. They would remain a threat in the years to come. But the blight had been ended before it had truly begun. Morelden had been saved, and the entire kingdom rose up to joyously greet its queen. Grey Warden stood redeemed, and a new age had begun. But at what cost? My friends, we are gathered to celebrate those responsible for our victory. Of those who stood against the Darkspawn siege of Denerim, there is one in particular who deserves commendation. The one who led the charge against the Archdemon and killed it remains with us still. An inspiration to all he saved that day. Ladies and gentlemen, may I formally present my betrothed who shall soon be your king. Grey Warden, it is hard to imagine how you could have aided Ferelden more. I think it only appropriate that I return the favor. As a reward and as an engagement present, I offer you a boon of your choice. The sacrifices of the Wardens should not be forgotten again. An excellent point. We can begin with a monument here in Denerim, dedicated to Alistair and all the other Grey Wardens who fell to save us. We should also collect scholars to learn more about the Darkspawn. We'll face them again, here and with the Dwarves. Let it also be known that the Arling of Amaranthine, once the land of Arl Howe, is now granted to the Grey Wardens. There they can rebuild, following the example of those who went before them. What are your plans? Will you remain with the Grey Wardens? The Darkspawn are still a threat. The Grey Wardens need me. I am certain they will be relieved to know your intentions. There is a group of eager Ferelden citizens waiting outside to get a look at their hero. I suggest you make at least a brief appearance before they storm the gate. <laughs> Just tell the guard at the door when you are ready. So we've done it. We have freaking saved the world. We destroyed the Darkspawn threat for the most part. And, well, it's over. I'm gonna have some quick conversation with some of these characters now. So, we made it. I'm impressed, aren't you? The odds were completely against one of us actually getting to the Archdemon. But of course you would make it. I knew you would. I just don't understand how you're still alive. I guess Riordan was wrong. You didn't. You knew about this, bro. Morgan saved me. I had no idea. I suppose that makes sense. Speaking of Morgan, do you know where she went? I'm told she vanished right after the battle. No goodbyes or anything. I don't know. Not sure I want to. Good riddance, I say. At any rate, I'm looking forward to meeting the rest of the Great Wardens when they come. We'll need to rebuild, right? And if I don't get the chance some other time, thanks for everything. This is hardly a goodbye. Oh, I don't mean it like that. I'm not about to lose a friend like you. But who knows what's going to happen next? I'll let you get to your adoring public. They want to see the hero of Ferelden, and who am I to keep them waiting?
When I heard that my little brother was not only a Grey Warden, but also leading Ferelden into battle, I was surprised, to put it mildly. Father, he would have been so proud of you. I know I am. You've done good. What happened to you, Fergus? I never made it to the Battle of Ostagar. We were still scouting in the wilds when we were attacked by a party of Darkspawn. Most of my men were killed. I woke up two weeks later in a chastened hut, wounded and feverish. By the time I was able to sneak out of the wilds, you were already marching to Denerim. I tried to get word to High Ever. You can imagine what happened, I suppose. I'm sorry for Orin and Oriana. Yes, I'm trying not to think too much about them. Hal was a greedy, traitorous bastard. I just wish I'd been there to help you kill him. At least Amranthine now belongs to the Grey Wardens. There's some justice in that, I think. I need to go back to High Ever. See if I can clean up the mess Hal made of it. I will see you soon, I hope. At the wedding, for certain. My little brother, marrying the Queen. All I can think is what Mother would have said about that. Take care of yourself, you hear? Or I'll find you and nag you like Mother did until you're ready to tear out your hair. He's been missing for a while. So here we are. The conquering hero has won the day, and now he takes his bow and exits the stage. A fine ending. But does the hero get his girl? Aren't you getting married soon to a queen? There's a rumor. Does that have to change anything? I suppose not. Once, I might have felt differently. But life is too short. You know, I can't help now but think of my vision. Whether it was the Maker sending me to you or whatever, it was a good thing. I thought I was supposed to save you, to show you the way. But it seems it was meant to be the other way around. Odd how that works, no? Yes, I suppose it is. I've been offered a position to head up an investigation into the Darkspawn. It's quite exciting, really. Oh, an investigation? Well, we really don't know much about them, do we? Anora says we need to find out more, see how far they go in the deep roads, and where those brood mothers can be found. I agree. It will be a grand adventure. I hope I will see you before I leave, to say goodbye. At any rate, you should get back to the celebration. We can speak another time. I will be relieved when all this pomp and ceremony is done. Such events are perfect opportunities for assassins, after all. I can't help but expect the crows to appear at any moment. Which would be a welcome break, mind you. You think the crows will still come after you? Eventually. With Talison dead, it may take them time to figure out what has happened, but they are like the tides. Predictable. You know, it does occur to me that staying in one place is only going to invite the crows to find me that much quicker. While fun, that might eventually get complicated. You said earlier that you were planning on returning to the Grey Warden Fold soon. Is that true? Why? You thinking of joining? A Grey Warden? Me? Oh, no, no, no. There are some bodily fluids even I won't touch. The Grey Wardens seem to be a fun bunch to hang around, however. Maybe they won't mind a resident assassin. I'm an excellent mascot. I'd be happy for the company. And I promise not to get you into too much trouble. Uh, well, no more than you get me into, anyhow. <laughs> well then, since we're going to be leaving together, uh, we can speak after you have been sufficiently paraded in front of the populace. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on you and make sure no one gets a clear shot. Not without paying me a great deal of coin, anyhow. Oh yeah, how charming. Humans have a better taste for spirits than I thought. The, the ale up here is actually good. Orzammar ale tastes like dirt in comparison. Probably because they put dirt in it. Go figure. Enjoying yourself already, I see. After what we went through, I think I've earned it. I think you've earned it. So I guess you're heading off soon, huh? Leaving the city? 
I don't know. We'll see. I'm thinking I'll stick around myself. <laughs> At least for a bit. I got offered a spot in the human army. And not as a mascot either. You know, these humans aren't bad for all their long legs. General Ogren, not bad. Yeah, makes me wish Bronca was still around so she could see what she's missing. <laughs> yeah, stupid girl. Ah, well, enough babbling. That pot bellied son of a whore Tegan said I'd pass out before drinking an entire barrel of pickle juice. I aim to prove him wrong. Don't ever change. <laughs> Who? Me? It's been good traveling with you, Warden. Don't get lost in the shuffle now. It is good to see you again, Kadam. These people, they call you hero. It is a strange word, but I think I understand its meaning. The Arishak on occasion has declared a Kunari to be Kunoran Vel, one who serves as an example to others. Such examples are always made after their death, however, a death in service to the Kun. A living Kunoran Vale would be too proud. Nothing's wrong with a little pride. I would argue, had you not ended a blight, for such an accomplishment there may be allowances. What the human custom has in common with our own is that the declaration of a Kunoran Vale is a cause for much celebration. It is one of few occasions when the Kunari are permitted to engage in revelry. There is imbibing of spirits, public chanting, meditations abandoned. It is madness. That would be quite a sight. It is interesting. It can take days for the Ben Hasrath to restore order. There may even be executions. I suppose I should tell you. I have decided to return to my people. Your quest is done, and thus so is my reason for accompanying you. That will be a long trip home. Yes. It will be difficult to travel alone, after so much time spent with companions. It must be said. You found my sword and gave me a chance to restore my honor. I owe you a great debt. If you say so. I do. Perhaps I shall see you again one day. Until then, may you always find the path you seek. Farewell, Kadan. The hero of Ferelden. My, my. How does it feel? They could have thought up a better name. Anora's idea, I understand. <laughs> the girl does like to get to the point. But it's not so bad, is it? A blight defeated with the other nations barely becoming aware. Who could ask for better? I wonder how long the love will last. Until you do something wrong. And then they will enjoy tearing you down just as rapidly. I'm glad not to be on the receiving end of all this attention myself. I say, let the young have their fame. Not that I've gone without notice. Irving asked me to take over as first enchanter, but I don't wish to go back. Not after all this. Instead, I've decided to accept a position here at court. There's not been a mage advising the throne for a very long time. But what about your problem. It's true. I may not have very much time. But perhaps there is a great deal of good I can do even so. I will try. I understand you will be leaving. I wish you good fortune on your journeys, wherever they may take you. If we do not see each other again, live well, Warden. And thank you. Allow me to offer you my personal congratulations, Warden. I must admit, 
that while I did not share my father's pessimism regarding the Grey Wardens, I had my doubts that such a small number of you could be victorious. Yet here you are. Damn right. <laughs> Normally I would call that bravado, but it seems your confidence is deserved. At any rate, I understand the preparations are underway for our wedding. It will only be a matter of weeks. Are you nervous? Uh, perhaps a little. Good. I feel the same, I must confess. You are rather intimidating, after all. We will need to speak more on it, especially considering that you intend to remain with the Grey Wardens. But that can wait. For now, enjoy the celebration. We can speak further when the day is done. Well, I guess it's really... Nothing uh, left. Where's the guy I got to talk to the, to wrap this whole thing up? Save the mother effing world. Yeah. Are you ready, my lord? The crowds outside are getting restless. Restless? What am I supposed to do? Just put in an appearance, so I understand. The people just want to see their hero in person. I'm supposed to take you to your escort, full brigade, their armor all shined up and everything. They're really honored to be guarding you, let me tell you. 